Hi everybody, this is Catherine, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna show you how to boost your FPS in Scavenger. Uh, the game just got released, so we're gonna see like how to optimize your windows, and after that we will go inside of the game. The game is compatible with DLSS, so if you have an RTX card, it will help you a lot to stabilize your FPS and also getting more FPS. So let's start with the game mode. I recommend to use the game mode. Uh, so put your game mode at on. And honestly, for my experience, I did uh, I test the game on two different PC. And the best combo is to play the game in DirectX 11 and use game mode. Uh, when I had like game mode at on and I was trying uh, DirectX 12, I don't know why I'm getting a lot of stuttering. So for me, the best combo was DirectX 11 with game mode at on. After that, make sure that your game bar is at off, Xbox game bar. And don't use any overlay like a Discord overlay, AMD, NVIDIA, and stuff like that. Uh, it's slowing like your game a lot. Uh, not necessarily slowing, but it's more like causing stuttering. So don't use that. For the game capture, make sure that background recording is at off, recorded audio is at off. After that, in the search, you can write GPU, sorry. Open your graphics setting. Make sure that your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is at on. Uh, you will need an NVIDIA card series 1000 or above to make sure that you have that. And the latest uh, version of Windows 10 is really important. Sorry. One more thing. Make sure that you update your uh, driver. So uh, NVIDIA, AMD, just go on their website, download the latest driver. Same thing with Intel. If you're using an integrated GPU, make sure that you're downloading it. Uh, it's really important for to make sure that you optimize your uh, GPU with your drivers. And also, uh, look at your power plan, energy plan on your computer. People who are playing on a laptop, make sure that you don't run this game in eco mode. You really need to use like performance or balance mode. Uh, to make sure that your GPU and CPU will go at their maximum of their, their speed. So uh, that's about it for Windows. Let's go now inside of the game. So now inside of the game, let's go to settings, video. The first mode that you really need to use is the full screen. I was losing like 2-3% to of my FPS when I was trying window or borderless. So really important to play full screen. For your resolution, make sure that you play native resolution, so depending on your monitor. For me, I'm playing 1080p, so I'm going with 1080p. Don't use the resolution scaling, it's a bit weird and the game it looks very uh, blurry and you will see like pixel and stuff like that when you go under 95, so don't use that, just disable and go one to one and change parameter over there. For the VSync, I'm not using it, I'm going with disable, I don't want to create any input lag, so I want the... Uh, lowest input lag possible but for sure if you have like a free sync g sync just do your thing and you will be fine after that if you have an rtx card from nvidia you have the dlss option now i don't recommend ultra performance and performance i did a couple of tests and honestly the image quality uh looks very blurry so that's why i'm going with quality balance was okay but I'd, like I, I had a difference between 5 fps between balance and squal and quality so that's why i'm using quality to make sure my game looks good and honestly i did a comparison between quality and without uh, dlss and honestly it's look almost the same so it's really good uh without dlss i have like 145 55 sorry fps and with dlss at quality i'm at 185 when i'm playing the game so a nice boost over here after that, the view distance really depends on your computer. I don't recommend to go too low uh, in a game like that. You really need to see in front of you. So medium can be a good bet. You're getting 3% uh, ultra to high, ultra to medium, another 3% and 2% medium to low. So medium should be a good spot for you guys. Anti-aliasing. Anti-aliasing, if you're using DLSS, uh, it doesn't change. So, so it should be gray over here. Normally, any game when you're using DLSS, you can't change your anti-aliasing, so that's a bit weird that it's still there. But anyway, if you don't use the DLSS, go something with low. Honestly, I don't like the anti-aliasing in this game. It looks very blurry, so that's why I'm removing it. And you're going to gain a nice 5-6% to 6 in your FPS. Post-processing also, normally I'm playing medium or high in games. But in this one, I'm going with low. It's, it's weird, man. Like... My image quality is very blurry. I feel I'm getting some motion blur with the post-processing. So that's why I'm going to low with this one. Shadow, this is pretty much where you can get a lot of FPS. It's 3 to 4% for each bracket. So ultra to low, you can gain like a nice 10% boost in your FPS. After that, texture. Texture really depends on your VRAM on your card. So more than 4 gig go with ultra. 
3 gig I, 2 gig medium, and less than 2 gig go with low. After that effect, I'm playing at medium. Uh, you're not necessarily see a big uh, improvement in your FPS when you uh, lower your effect. It's more when you're fighting. So if you feel that you're get getting crazy drop when you're fighting, it's probably because of effect. So just like go with something like medium it it will help you a lot. Foliage, foliage, you can have like a nice 3% uh, here. 2% uh, high to medium, medium to low, it's like 1%, so that's why I'm going with medium. I feel that foliage at medium, it's a good spot. The last peri perimeter, it's DirectX version, so the API, I'm playing DirectX 11. I'm getting more FPS in DirectX 12, but my uh, <laughs> my FPS are not stable, it's, it's crazy. I'm dropping sometimes like 30 to 40 FPS, so that's why I'm using the API DirectX 11. Less FPS, but a lot more stable. So that's about it guys for my guide, if you have any questions just come in in the YouTube section, post me your rig, CPU, GPU and RAM, I will try to help you the best that I can, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, PEACE!